Hello everyone. So another 111 snapshot and again bad news for all the redstoners or the technical community because we got some features removed. Um, first let's start with the good news. So this time 16w43a. Um, fishing seemingly got a lot of bug fixes and should be better now but I only want to cover the redstone component related um, yeah, changes. So let's start with the good news. Um, you can power pistons through air blocks again with repeaters. Previously you could also power them, but the piston wouldn't receive the information that it is powered. And now the repeater again gives a block update in front if there's a solid block in front of him. So the, also the piston gets powered and gets the information that it is powered. And this, that's because it, ex it extends now. And the same goes for observers. So you can power a block and the resident just next to it would get activated. And this uh, activates the piston. And the yeah, same change here. Previously, the block got powered, uh, but there was no block update, so the redstone dust didn't know it's powered. But since we have a block update now, redstone dust knows it's powered. So that's fine. But now the bad news. Um, if a repeater has no block in front of him, no solid block, I have to say, then uh, it doesn't give out a block update anymore. So let's just see if a different block, which isn't air, leaves, then doesn't get yeah, powered. We need a solid block in front of it. And of course, this creates a lot of issues. Uh, so previously, this would work. You could uh, activate the piston like this, and it's still getting powered, but it doesn't receive the update anymore. So if I put a flint here, then piston extends, and since it turns off and also doesn't give out a block update, if the uh, repeater turns off, piston stays extended until it's updated. Um, same happens with the comparator, you can see here. And of course the observer. And let's try to activate the piston of the flint. I have to be very quick. Okay, that's getting too hard. Uh, let's add some redstone dust so we can see that the piston still is getting powered, but it's not getting updated. You can see here the piston receives the redstone dust because it gives out a block update to all neighboring blocks. then yeah, can reject him by giving it a, uh, another block update. Uh, and of course it would work if you have a solid block on top. So there's a little bit of speculation. Um, I think the changes with the repeaters and the comparators was done in order to get a little bit more consistency, but I'm going to show that it doesn't add any consistency at all. It just leads to at least the same amount of confusion. Um, so I think uh, somebody at Mojang didn't like that you could power a piston through a chain of observers with air in between. Previously, the observer would update the next air block, or not the air block, the block in front of him, and then the, the observer, which detects changes in the environment, would detect the change and give out the information to the next block, and so on. And now this no longer works. So it, it works if you put blocks in between. It's not like that a redstone current would be transferred, um, like with the pistons, with the repeaters and comparators. Uh, so the, the observer, as I said, text changes in the environment. And somehow now the block changes somehow. Can't see it. Just like you can't see that the air gets changed, but this is how it yeah, makes sense somehow. And yeah, somebody at Mojang probably saw this, that you can activate an observer uh, like this because the repeater would give out a block update in front of him and to, in order to prevent that which isn't consistent with the other observers the, the, the block updates probably got removed but yeah now let's see that, that this, this change didn't add any consistency because the numerous blocks it still power uh, in quotes air blocks so the torch still does the same as you can see here the torch always updates the surrounded blocks around it. Could activate the observer like this or with an air block in between here. And there are even other components that updates the block around them. For example, redstone dust. So you can activate the observer's rune air block. And I don't think they could uh, remove this feature for the redstone dust because in order for the next redstone dust to be activated, the redstone dust has to update the blocks around it. And you probably can always activate uh, an observer through 
rats and dust uh, with an air block in between because that's just the way rats and dust works. Um, so <laughs> I think this inconsistency will never get removed unless they finally rework rats and dust, which would be nice. But okay, so that even more blocks that update air blocks. So for example, you can power an observer through the air with a chest if you close it. But technically, there's even air between here. So uh, Rails always give block updates below then. The block below gets updated. And yeah. So it's totally not consistent if it just changes for repeaters and comparators. The only thing uh, changing it for repeaters and comparators achieves is breaking stuff. Because previously, of course, used this behavior. For example, that was one. A uh, very lag-friendly way to transport items uh, through a chain of um, uh, droppers, which also worked in unloaded chunks, by the way. So we used the 1,000 block line, long line of uh, observers uh, no, of droppers to transport items through unloaded chunks. But of course, this wouldn't work anymore. So technically, the dropper gets powered, but it doesn't receive a block update anymore. And this is something that in general uh, isn't doable anymore that easily. So you could activate both those pistons previously separately. So if you activate the lower repeater, it would activate the bottom piston. And if you would activate the top repeater, it would activate the top piston. But now you would have to give an external uh, block update to the piston somehow on the extraction and the retraction. And this, of course, in some cases would be quite tricky. And yeah. In some cases, it was also quite useful that you could activate the piston like this and have a, another uh, resin line going above it. Of course, it's no workaround to put a block in front of the repeater because then the lower piston also power back was a connectivity and then both pistons activated, which is exactly what we don't want. So, yeah, this is quite an issue. A lot of existing contraptions will be broken because of this change. I made a bug report. Um, that repeaters and comparators no longer give out block updates in front of them, but it got immediately flagged as works as intended. And of course we have to accept that. If Mojang thinks that's better for the game, then it's the way it's gonna be. Um, but I strongly disagree that uh, yeah, repeaters not giving updates to air blocks makes the game any better or removes a bug. Because ask yourself, is a repeater updating an air block uh, really so much worse than this here. I mean, as I showed before, uh, it doesn't add any consistency at all because torches still do update air blocks. And to me, this this looks buggier. I mean, why doesn't the repeater, if, it, if he powers the piston, why shouldn't he update it? So, yeah, really weird change. Just get this consistency with the observers. And this is now a personal opinion. I don't like the way Mojang does changes lately. Instead of implementing the observer in the existing redstone system uh, and block update system, they just changed the whole existing redstone system to achieve uh, those little goals of air blocks not updating and so on. Um, a better way would have been ju just to, to leave the observer block as it was. Everybody was really excited about the observer block in 16W39A when it got first introduced and a lot of people were really content the way it worked. And of course Mojang has a different different opinion on some of the stuff, but why not just implement uh, systems on top of the existing Redstone system instead of changing everything just to to push here to uh, yeah, ideas through. So if, if you don't like that the observer block updates air blocks, give the observer block a particle effect like the uh, dispenser does now. So if the uh, observer would give out a particle effect that you can turn off by the way, so it doesn't create any lag, then uh, it wouldn't make sense to everybody that this block would get updated. And I don't think it's, what's the real lesson behind that you can't update air blocks? If you can't see it, it doesn't exist like electricity or change in temperature. <laughs> so I don't think changing this makes any more sense. So if you think about a repeater as a resistor and a heat source, then it would uh, yeah, change the temperature in front of him. And then the observer, which detects changes in the environment, would detect that somehow. 
makes sense. Give it particle effects and everybody would understand. Uh, you could, we could keep the existing redstone system because yeah, we li really like it. And there's just so, so much simpler ways to achieve uh, goals like this instead of changing the whole existing redstone system and destroying countless hours of work. And to just hope now that they don't change this for the yeah, torches as well, because it's also quite useful. Just think of a dropper tower, could power a dropper tower like this. And if the torch wouldn't update the block below it, this dropper wouldn't know it's powered. Same goes for the rails. You could do amazing stuff because the rail updates the block below it. So let's put a minecart here. And this would be a yeah, uh, hand-free minecart launching system. There's a string above. String updates the rail. The rail is in a uh, state uh, where, where it is powered but doesn't know it yet. Then the updated rail would turn on, the observer block would detect it and resets the whole system. So if I get, go into minecart now, just would get launched hands-free and then I could dispense a new minecart on top of this. And just those, those little uh, quirks in the, in, the, in the code are actually quite useful and people enjoy working with them. And now removing all of that just to add some consistency in the game or to remove behavior that doesn't make sense uh, is just not right. Uh, yeah, okay, so this was a little rant. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.